In this video, you will see how you can create a virtual computer inside your computer. No matter what you are using like Windows 10, Windows 11, uh, Mac, Linux, whatever. So we are going to see how to create a virtual machine inside Windows 11 computer. The process is same. So for this, first we need to download VirtualBox. So open a browser and search for VirtualBox. Open this link Oracle VM VirtualBox. Open the download page and download as per your need like i am using windows so i need to download the windows host if you are using uh, like mac linux other ways then you can download from this list so let's download windows hosts so it is uh, 103 mb it will be downloaded in a moment so after downloading open the file and install it on your computer so i am installing oracle virtualbox Installation process is pretty simple like any other software you install on your computer. So the installation is now complete. I can open it. So you can see this is our VirtualBox application. So now we are going to install Windows 10 with this VirtualBox. If you like to install Linux or any other operating system then you can do the same. So I am going to install Windows so I need to download Windows 10 from Microsoft official site. So let's search for Windows 10 download. I can get Windows 10 home version for free. I can use it. So here uh, on Microsoft official download page, I need to download this media creation tool. Okay, download tool completed. So open the tool here. It will take a few moments to get ready. I am accepting all the terms and condition and so and after that it is taking some more time. Here I am getting two options upgrade to this PC or create media uh, installation file like installation media file. So I just need an ISO file because I will use that for my virtual machine. So I am just selecting this create installation media next and check you can like select the other option language and uh, windows 10 edition and like architecture so i need 64 bit for my virtual machine so click on the next so here you will get two options one is like you want to create a bootable usb drive to uh, like install it on some other computer or an iso file for the virtual machine i need the iso file so i am selecting iso here and going to next uh, so i need to save the ISO file somewhere on my computer so for now I am I can select any place so I am selecting D drive and save it so now it will take a few moments depending on your internet speed so let's see how much time it takes so now you can see here that the uh, download is completed so now I am just closing this it will clean the like setup just download it okay so now what you need to do we need to create the virtual machine here because we have already downloaded the windows 10 installation iso so I, we can use that so to create a new virtual machine just click on this new button and name your the virtual computer so i am typing windows like 10 and machine folder you can select any folder on your computer so the default installation folder is on the c drive the windows drive so but i don't want to fill up my windows drive so i can i'm selecting some other location like d drive here i am creating a folder like vm so in this folder i will create all my virtual machines like some other installations linux and all other things so under this and the type is microsoft windows version is windows 10 okay next so ram so how much RAM you want to allocate for the virtual machine? So it depends on your computer. Like I have uh, 16 GB of RAM on this computer. So I can allocate like uh, 6 GB or 7 GB, something like that. So allocate some like allocate the RAM according to your computer, giving it six and a half GB and next and create a virtual hard disk. Now, yes, I want to create a virtual hard disk and uh, what is the like uh, hard disk type so the i'm going with the vdi virtual disk image the default one and next 
and here you need to select like dynamically allocated or fixed size if you select the dynamically allocated then it will uh, like take space according to the virtual machine like whenever it fills it will take the space on your computer but i want to go with the fixed size next uh, here you can uh, allocate a size according to your um, like requirement and according to your hard disk space so 50 gb is fine for now for me to create again it will take a moment so now you can see here that uh, our virtual machine is created we need to install the windows 10 on this virtual machine so before going to the installation i want to set up something so just click on the settings here i want to like allocate the processor cores like i have 12 cpus so i can allocate three or four cpus so that the virtual machine runs fine and one more thing the network so by default it creates a network bridge between your computer and the virtual machine so the virtual machine gets the internet so initially i am turning it off the internet connection for the virtual machine because on Windows 10, when you install, after the installation process, it will ask you to log in with a Microsoft account. But I don't want to log in with a much Microsoft account, so that's why I am just disabling this for the installation. I will enable this later. So just OK. Now I want to start the machine. You can just click on the start, or here just select it and click on this button start. Here we need to select the installation media, the ISO file we just downloaded. So just click here and add the ISO file. It's on our D drive. So just open that and select the Windows installation ISO. Open it and click on this choose button and start the process. The installation process is like any other uh, Windows installation. You will see the process. It is getting ready. Here you need to select the country, language and all those things. So I'm going with the default one. And the install now button. So I don't have a product key. We can use that Microsoft home version without a product key. There are some things, that, uh, some personalization setting that we cannot do. So that's why I'm just doing it. I don't have a product key. Uh, I want to go with this Windows 10 home default one next accept the license and terms and the custom installation here uh, this is the 50 GB space we have allocated for this virtual machine so just click on this new button and create a drive okay and this is the drive partition and this is the system reserved so we want to install this on this um, partition and select next now this process will take uh, a few moments so let's first forward the video. So the installation is complete. Now it's restarting the PC, the virtual computer. It will restart it several times to complete the installation. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards so the bottom of your it screen. Is completed. The installation process if you is need completed. an assistive so screen reader, we want the Cortana to assist us. We need to like set up the virtual machine now, like the. Uh, final setup so i'm going with the default unitary states default thing here you can see that uh, it is asking for internet connection uh, because i don't want to log in with a microsoft account that's why i have disabled the internet connection i just need to select this i don't have an internet connection here and just continue with limited setup create a username like whatever user like i'm creating user password confirm the password 
and security question because i did not log in with the microsoft account it needs to put some security question and answer going with something that i don't need to remember next uh, i'm going with the default privacy settings here and i don't want the cortana it it's saying almost done we just need to get a few more things polished up for you it will take some moments and after that we'll get our windows 10 virtual computer So here you can see PC has restarted and it is completed. Now we can use that. To use the PC in full screen, we need to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition. To do that, just click on this device menu and select Insert Guest Edition CD Image. After that, open the folder and under folder select the CD drive it has created and install this VirtualBox Windows Editions AMD64. Yes. Next. And this is the normal install it I want to manually reboot later just close this so we need to reboot the PC the virtual PC and after uh, rebooting we will also enable the internet connection for this virtual machine so just the process of like setting down the computer is normal if you click just shut down it will just close the virtual PC you can see here it has closed so now go to settings and under network enable network adapter okay and now if we click on the start it will start the virtual machine with the internet connection so here you can see it is started now we want to log into the computer now yes so we are now logged in now we can access the internet give it some time to set up everything microsoft edge one more thing we can just give you with full screen now because we have installed the virtual box guest edition to view it full screen just click on this view button and full screen mode you can see it's now a full screen computer you cannot see the host computer it's like the only windows 10 you can see here so now we are connected to the internet so if we try google.com we can check it yeah we are connected to the internet so let's open youtube here and search for technology it you can see the channel you can subscribe to the channel if you like the video and if you want some more tutorials on computers internet and mobile things so the process of shutting down this virtual pc is normal this you can shut it down from here or you can just close this like power of the machine it, it will shut down the virtual machine not only windows you can add multiple virtual machines here and you can uh, like turn on whatever you need when you need to so like linux and other ways so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel